This old coffee tastes mighty good. That's not the reason why I gotta get back up to that sugar shack. Hey everybody, Jim Tedesco here from Millennium County Railroad version 2.0. <laughs> or 2.0. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to do a mail call and see what we got in the mail. So without any further ado, stay tuned, I'll reposition the camera, we'll get right to it. Alrighty, well let's get to this uh, mail call. And the beauty of it is, I know what it is. <laughs> and this is actually from Jason Wilson, who most of you know as the Trade Freak. And as you know, I won his uh, bingo contest, and this is what I won. So let's uh, open this up and see what it is. There's more. <laughs> okay, that's all of it. So what this is, this is the Soundtracks uh, Tsunami Sound Car. And basically what you do is you put this in a train car or I guess anything you want really, but mostly a train car. And you can program it for different sounds. Now I've never used one of these before and I have zero clue on how it works. <laughs> But I'll find out. Uh, it has a 16-bit digital sound for a variety of rolling stock. Built-in hyperlight lighting effect, so that's cool. Intelligent consisting, suitable for N to G scales. Of course, I'll be using it on HO scale. So that's pretty slick. Can't wait to dive into that one. And of course, it comes with a 28 millimeter speaker. Which you, I guess you would need, right? <laughs> and it looks like a speaker enclosure or several different types of speaker enclosures. Because I can't talk today. So this is pretty slick. Now, I have no idea what the... Oh, this is a... Yeah, it's an antenna. I don't know what this is for. It's a wand. So this has something to do with maybe activating it. Turning it on and off, I'm not sure. So the only thing I have to do is figure out how to wire up uh, my trucks to get power to this through the train car, which is no big deal. I should be able to find something online. But this is a great prize. And I thank you very much, Jason. Uh, I can't ask for a better prize, and I'm glad I won the contest. And it kind of amazes me sometimes because I'm not usually big on winning. Although I've done pretty good a few times. I've won three or four different contests over the last couple of years, so maybe I'm on a winning streak, huh? <laughs> anyway, as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and document it. We'll do a video on it, uh, of assembly and programming and all that. It may be a while, I'm not in a big hurry, but at least now I have the components to do it with. Uh, so as soon as I get some extra time to play with it, I'm going to dive right in. Yeah, that concludes our unboxing mail call. And once again, I want to thank Jason from the Train Freak. If it wasn't for him, this wouldn't have happened. So, very cool. Uh, okay, well, as always, keep it on the rails, and we'll be talking to you real soon. Bye.